All right, moving on, I want to talk about uh, the power of a function rule. And the power of a function rule is very similar to the power rule uh, for derivatives, uh, but it's a little different. So let's say that we have a function that is in terms of another function to the power of n, where n is a real number. All right, so we have some kind of function now um, to the power of n. Well, the derivative of that is going to be, so like the product, uh, like the power rule, I mean, you bring the n down and you'll keep that function there to the power of one uh, taken away from the exponent. So we perform the power rule on this and then you have to multiply it by the derivative of that inside function. Okay, this is also, um, this is a special case of something called the chain rule, which we're going to go over uh, in a few sections when we deal with composite functions. But uh, this is it. This is what the power of a function rule is. So if you have a function in terms of a function to the power of n, the derivative of it, uh, apply the power rule, bring the n down, minus 1 from the uh, exponent, but then multiply it by, uh, by the derivative of the function inside. So, for example, let's say that we have something like, um, like this to the power of 9. Okay, so obviously we're not going to expand this to the power of 9. That would, uh, that would take us a really long time. So this is where the power of a function rule comes into play. It makes it a lot easier to uh, take the derivative of a function like this. So this, notice how f of x is in terms of a function g of x. So this x squared plus 3x minus 4 represents this g of x. And then it's to the power of 9. And so that 9 is represented by n in the, um, in the general expression. So the derivative of it is we just bring the 9 down, keep the function the same inside that g of x, so that'll just be 3x minus 4, minus 1 from the uh, exponent, so we'll have 8 here. So we just applied the power rule, but then we have to multiply it by the derivative of the function inside. So the derivative of x squared plus 3x minus 4, uh, so the derivative of x squared is 2x, and then the derivative of uh, 3x is just 3. Sorry, this should be 2x here. Um, and then the derivative of negative 4 is just 0. The derivative of constant is 0. So that's it. That's the derivative of the function inside. And, uh, and that's it. That's our answer. You could uh, maybe even bring this in front. So we could have 2, 2x plus 3 and we'll have x squared plus 3x minus 4 to the power of 8. All right, so it's just a nice quick way to take the derivative of a complex function like this. Instead of expanding it, we just apply the power rule, power of a function rule rather, and, uh, and we get the derivative pretty quickly.